Alright, I was going to play Elden Ring again. Took a bit of a break yesterday to try out uh, No Rest for the Wicked, but uh, I'm going to keep playing Elden Ring now. Great game, definitely recommend it. I really like it. It seems to get a lot of like flack on Steam for some reason. I'm not sure what the deal is, but uh, I fucking love it. So I think it's good so far from what I've seen. But yeah, I want to finish Elden Ring first, and then I might go back to that. So I want to see if I can level up. See, I need about 20,000. No, more. 30,000. So I'm in Lane, Lanedale, the royal capital. Got a bit lost. Not sure where I haven't been here. Because I think I started like up here. Like here, and then went down, and then over here. But now I'm not sure if I've actually been this way, might have been this way, and then I was on like the roofs and things here, and I did go, I think I explored some of this, so maybe I've explored most of it, I don't think, there's definitely places where I can still go, so I'm going to run around for a bit and see, <coughs> oh, fuck, sorry I wanted to cough, <coughs> Ugh, fuck me, um, yeah, there's definitely like still places I can go here, so I want to check it out. Okay, so how much do I say I need? 20,000. I guess I can break this one. No, 30,000. So I can break this one. Oh uh, shit, I need to actually turn on my chat thing. Just give me a second. So I can use my phone to check the chat. Oh, this music's really cool. Cool. Um, so how much do I need still? Oh, I've got enough now, cool. I've just been taking up mind, I think. Just so that I have like a little bit more um like mana. And that's literally just so I can use my spell ability with my Swinder more. I did actually want to see if I could uh uh, and also, I wanted to see if I can use a hammer, but uh, when I was watching the VOD, I saw I missed that I picked up one of these things. Holy ground, it might be this one. Or it might be this one. It's one of these. Vow of Indomitable, I think it's this one. This Ash of War grants sacred affinity, blah blah blah. Holy ground, raise shield to create an earth tree. No, so it's not this. What is it then? Maybe it is this. Ancient Warriors Urgy. This is another shield one. Maybe it is this. But as far as I know... No, oh, actually it could be this because the Urgy Sentinels do have shields, right? Okay, so it's a shield one. Prayerful Strike. I thought this one could be cool. Like, it's a... It only works on axes and hammers, but it's like... It heals you. Um... When you when you hit, use it, and I thought that could be like fucking cool to use. So I should actually check if I have any cool like hammers or axes. Maybe this strength scaling B. That's pretty good. Like I guess if I could enchant that with, uh, let's see if I can. I can actually. So then I can take this thing. Is it this? Prayerful strike, yes. Oh, so I can get it to D. Cuts the damage by a lot. But it could be quite interesting, I think. Strength 31. Should have enough. Let me 
go to the blacksmith. Just to try out something different, because I've been using the Zweihander for most of the game. Um, I did play a little bit with some of the other faith weapons that you pick up. But, uh, like, yeah. For most of the game I've been using the Zweihander. And that's kind of like my default weapon to use in, uh, it's not a very big hammer. I thought it would be much bigger. But, uh, I'll try it out. Level it up a little bit. Oops, wrong dude. Right, I need to remember to turn this on, otherwise the VOD quality drops in dark areas. No, 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 no. What the fuck's he doing? I need to do better than this. This will never kill a god. I can do better than this. It needs to slay a bloody god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that, this uh, voice line. Oh, it's you. Don't pay me any mind, it's not important. Just lay out your arms. It's not the weapon row, it's the player. <laughs> um, let me sell some. Okay, so it uh, uh, does use regular smithing stones, so that's cool. Oh wow, I actually ran out of, uh, actually ran out. Ah, oh, cool, so it's actually scaling to B with Faith as well. Oh, so it does get quite strong, actually. Sacred brick hammer. I think mine is 23 or 24. Mine is why under. So I'll get it to try to get it like close to kind of that. So at least it does kind of a similar amount of damage. Yo, smithing stone 7 it seems to be very rare. So I need smithing stone 7, um, but it's on 20 now, I think damage wise this should be okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so where was I? Divine bridge, fortified manor, best capital. Actually, I do want to... I want to go back a bit. I'm not sure if this is, this might be where I was. I'm not sure. Because uh, I need to go down to the sewer as well still. Okay, so it does that. That's a big swing. Upper swing. Um, attack-wise it seems pretty good, so, see how it goes. What is this? Okay, let's go down here. It's gonna be a bit of running around to figure out where I need, to, where I haven't been. Oh, fuck. Uh, actually, it was, like, over here, I think. There was... I didn't go down here, I think. Yeah, because I came up somewhere over here. Okay, damage wise, it's it is a it is a bit less. Oh, this guy just like sat down. He's like, "Fuck this, I'm out." <laughs> okay, I'm curious to see what the uh, the ability didn't even work, it's such a slow ability. So 
does a little bit more less damage, sorry. But that's because like I ran up there last time. So let me see if there's anything like if No, so I couldn't open this, but I think behind it is like a pool of water anyway. So I guess you can't open it. Unless you can like flood the city somehow. So as far as I remember, I came up like here I think. No, this goes down. Uh, maybe I ran up here? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like I came from the other side, actually. So I need to go down there. That's some sort of sewer. Um, let me test this ability. It's a very slow ability. So I'm not sure if I, how I feel about it. Might just go back to the Swyander. Summer smithing stand six. Can hear something. Sounds like one of those uh, crystal beetles or something. Maybe if I jump up here. see it. There's a thing over there. Oh, there it is. It's a teleportation one. Ah, uh, uh, I could hear this fucking thing too. I was like, oh my god. Fuck off, man. Oh, at least it kills these, like, fuck it. Go through there, but wait, there was an item over here. Smithing sent five. So I can go down here as well. There's more of those creepy fucking things. This place is like very maze like. I'm like, it's so easy to get lost. There's a ladder over here in the well. Okay, fuck, so there's another thing here. Okay, well, before I go down here, let me let me see what's through this uh, passageway. Maybe it's just a dead end. Oh, shit. Didn't expect it to open up. Black dumpling. It looks like it's a helmet. Probably a creepy, like one of those mask things that they wear. Mask forced on a victim's head to lend torture an extra degree of cruelty. You can hear. I think it's above me. I think it's a knight above me. It magnifies one's fears and makes them acutely aware of all forms of pain. Raises attack power when the wearer suffers from madness. Okay. <laughs> when the black dumpling goes on, the torturer no longer seeks answers, only to inflict suffering without hope of relief. That's very disturbing. Okay, so this is just an exit here. But maybe I haven't been here? There's another doorway here. What the fuck's this? Mud man. Clay man? I think it's actually called a clay man. It's a soldier. Oh, 
that reminds me, I, I didn't uh, click it at the time because I was struggling to read it. But uh, this is a soldier of fortune. <laughs> I didn't get the pun, I was like, soul jar, soul jar, it's like... I didn't understand it at the time, and when I saw the photo, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, okay, I went this way before, because I came from down there. So let me go down that well, see where the well goes, before I forget about the well. Um, I actually, now I can't backtrack. Can I get on my horse? No. So, how do I get out? Where did I get out from here then? Can I see the well on the map? Don't know, it might have been over here somewhere. It's fine, I'll try to get back there. I see I can jump down here. There's an item there. Fuck, man. Oh wait, this is the wine cellar place. I've been in here. That might be where how you get up. Let me just jump down here. Get this item. Okay, trolls. Bridge trolls. Guilty hood. Okay. <clears throat> is that a helmet or something? It is. Corseted cloak of Olive Brown, the garb of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. Okay. That's what I could have. That's I guess that's what it was. This hand up there. So I haven't been this way either. So maybe I should just go this way. I just need to remember of the well. In case it's a different place you can go. Okay, so I can go that way too. Butterflies. Sugar baby. There's an item. An unreachable item appears. Let me put you out of your suffering. Smash. the hand up there. Not sure how the hand works, like is he just gonna fall down? It's up there as so well. I guess it's gonna be like a trap type thing when I come back. See this big hand over there. Is this item really Worth guarding, big hand. No, no, no. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, it actually explodes. I didn't know it exploded. Fuck these hands, man. Like one thing about this weapon, it does, it has a short range, but it does seem to interrupt them very easily. And it's quite fast attacking, which is pretty good. Like the, the reach does feel awkward to me. Like I feel like on edge about 
whether I'll win or not. But I think overall it's it is decent. If the damage is like a little bit less than this one. But maybe I think I might change the ability because the ability seems like too slow. Okay, attack this. And actually, it has like an uppercut swing, which is pretty good. Does that mean like even things that are very small, you won't like swing over them? Wait, did I... I think I did go everywhere there. <clears throat> okay, well let me just keep going straight over here then. Maybe it comes to the well anyway. Like maybe it's like the opposite side. Oh, hello. <laughs> Smack. Yeah, because look, he was going to shoot fireballs from up here. So there's... The, no, that doesn't look like the well. Oh, uh, I know where that... That's the long ladder that I could have gone... Down. So it does loop around. Fan daggers. Or steel dagger. I might have had an earth steel dagger before. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, I did. Okay, so I've heard that. Surprising that there's nothing. There's no enemies down here. Very strange. Okay, let me climb up this ladder. I should go and see. Okay, so where did I? That way. So I guess the well is how you get to the the item that was behind that door. Just like listening to the music. I think it's fucking cool. Music, it's nice. Sounds like some sort of like intro to like a horror game or something. It's like it's been seven months <laughs> since the illness took my wife from me. <laughs> Rune arc, not worth. Uh, I can actually open the door. Jesus. Heavy gates. <laughs> I guess it goes further down here. What a well lit sewer. Random indent. Yo, fucking dark. See some rats. They're like running that way, that means there must be a big rat there. Your friend's getting battered to death and you're just watching. Poison dart. I was expecting it to not open from the side, but uh, I guess it does. Subterranean shunning grounds. Okay. So there's an omen at the back there. Let me see what's the other way first. Let's see if it is a big rat. No, it's just a small rat. 
Nein, schön. Okay, so ist ein Item B. Oh, there's an omen there also. Might be the same one. No, it's not. Wee. No, no, no. Fuck. Ah. Smack. Oh, cool. I actually managed to, to get it. Oh, wow. This weapon's really good at just like breaking the poise. Let's see. Oh, fuck. I mean, the reach is like very. The reach is not the best, but uh, poise wise, it's pretty good. I think what I should do is like when it, when I'd have break broken their stance or whatever I should that's when I should use the skill because it's such a slow such a slow skill and I can get a free heal. But I might change this this skill. I don't like slow skills. What's up bro? <laughs> He's just like looking at me. It's like what do you want? <laughs> it's hammer time. Oopsie. Don't farm it on me. Oh shit. Yeah. Smacked. Oh nice, it does work. Quite well actually. Ah. So it's like the omens of the capital seem to all be like death. Uh, actually, it's not death. I don't know what the fuck that is. I thought it was a death type thing. Shit. I'm gonna get fucked up. As long as he doesn't grab me. It should be fine. See, there's a door here. I guess it's like a shortcut type door. Maybe it opens from the other side. Oh, there's a there's a thing there. I was gonna say, like, where the fuck's the grace? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I think I should try out a different uh, Ash of War on this weapon. Got this now. Lightning brick hammer. So what is uh, actually I'd have to read what the Ash of Wars do. Sacred Order, okay. Skill of the Golden Order Knights, perform a salute and grant the armament holy essence. Holy if... Okay, so this, this just makes your weapon holy. So that's kind of the same as what I'm using on the Zweihander. It's a flaming one. Emits flame, white arc. Follow up a strong attack. No. Thunderbolt. Skill use the capital's ancient dragon cult. Raise armament aloft. Call down bolt of lightning. Can be fired in rapid, rapid succession. Okay, lightning slash. Call down, bolt of lightning, swing down. Great. The armament. Oh, uh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Where's the. Is it this one? Yeah. But I'll keep it sacred though, so it's faith scaling. Let's see. Oh. Why is that? 
Uh, it's because I'm one-handing it. Yeah, I like that. Well, let's see how, how it works. Oh, it's actually doing less damage now. Because I guess it does lightning damage, they're probably resistant to lightning. So it's actually a worse idea. <laughs> Fuck. Shit, I'm getting dicked by this guy now. Oh no! It's not really working for me. I, d I think I m might have to just go back to the Zwyander. <laughs> like it feels like too weak to fight these guys with this. Okay. Let's replenish my potions. So I used so many there. Like four. Let's see. Let's see how this is. Oh uh, god, that does so much more damage. Yeah, oh, wow, I'm just getting fucked up. Okay, yeah, I know this weapon's way better. It's a bit slower, so maybe the damage per second is not as high, but uh, just, I don't know, it just feels better to me. Where's the other one? Wasn't there like... I thought there was another one that, that was around here. Maybe it... Maybe it's this one. Maybe it disappears when once you find the... Grace thing. Doesn't really do that much damage to me. But their normal attacks do a ton of damage, wow. It's interesting, I don't feel under I don't feel as over leveled anymore. Which is like cool. Blood soak manchets, blood soak mask. Golden rune. Is that a golden rune one? What's that? been many, uh, well I guess the rats dropped them. I was gonna say it's been many moons, but that's a lie. Mask formed from tightly wound bandages soaked through with blood. Even the most ghastly cover is more inviting than the festering face beneath. <laughs> okay. Sad. This reminds me of Dark Souls 2. There's like these weird guys that do sort of kamikaze type things. Um, that looks, they look like that, like lepers. Oh, the other ones are gloves, but I guess it says the same, similar thing. So there's a ladder here, goes down. And there was a door there. Let me see what's this way first before I go down, because I haven't explored this whole area. Jump down here. The, there's a dude at the back there, so you can get there. Guess I have to jump down here then. Oh no. Rat be gone! Oh, 
shit. Ah, I hate that. Swinging over it. That's one problem I have with the... I guess I can just always do the overhead swing. Go that way, but I can also go this way. Oh no, it's a poison flower. I don't know if I really care. I have quite a lot of uh, HP, so it doesn't deal me that much damage. Oh shit. Don't expect it to like, actually damage me. So tanky. Suppose I could just like run past them. There was another tunnel I could go down, I need to remember that. Uh, this is the item from the start area, I think, because there's the ruin arc. Okay. Because I think I started on the other side of this where that rat went down. But I thought I was going to be a big rat, and then it wasn't. Uh, fuck off. That's so cheap. No, no. Ugh. Fucking hand. Okay. It's not too far, far to go. I could probably just run past. No, can I run past these dudes? Well, I can run past this first one. He's oblivious. And this one, actually. I'll kill the rats, though, because they're just annoying. Okay, so I can go down here, I just need to remember that. Excuse me, coming through. Oh shit, so it's gonna hit me. <laughs> Luckily not. And it sucks out dark so you can barely see the fucking... Smithing stone seven. Oh, so if I wanted to get all, well, I guess you need me. Let me out. Oh, it's Let a box me out of I must eat more, defile more, 
everything that matters to you for generations to come. I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. Creepy. I guess now what? Can I kill him? Now you can talk to him. So it's like armor made from... From uh, Omen or whatever. Who are you? Leave your jail. Say nothing. Huh. I don't know if I. I don't like this guy. I think. Feel like I'll just kill him. It's like a crazy fucking person. Say nothing. Oh, I am the Dungeta, a scourge upon the living. I must eat more, defile more. Let me out. Let me out of here. I think I say this is the same thing. Like, I don't know if you let him out, if he does some, like, if he kills, like, random NPCs or some shit. So I guess I didn't do this, like, my first playthrough, so let him. Just... I've been here long enough. I will kill again and defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed along with their children and their children's children for all time to come. I will kill again, just to be sure he'll be good. Yeah, I don't know if I like this guy. I feel like I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he's doing some sort of weird fireball thing. It's like this NPC that just makes me feel dirty. <laughs> it's quite strong actually. Tastes the early bait beach. <laughs> yeah. Get to file yourself. Omen helm. Omen armor. Yeah, so this omen stuff. Sword of Milos. Okay. What type of sword is it? Maybe it's a... It's this. That's a great sword. Sinister great sword fashioned from a giant's backbone. Meets out wounds like a lopsided saw blade and restores some FP upon defeating an enemy. Midas was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and Terribly grotesque. Shriek of Milos. So I wonder if Milos. No, but it's the backbone of Milos, right? Malformed helm resembling an omen with its horns cut off. Worn by the dung eater, its form is a vision of the landscape of his mind and of his appearance as he wished to see it. The heart of an omen without the body to match. Could there be any crueler existence? What does it matter then if the curse claims it all? Okay. Worn by the dung eater, the heavy sun-shaped medallion represents both the guidance he once saw and the ring to which it will one day lead. Okay, so the other one sort of says the same thing. Yeah, I don't really get him. It's like so weird. And it's like also his... His disembodied self gave me the key. So does that mean he has like two like weird personalities or some shit? 
guess this is that she just is a prison. Okay. So I guess if I go back to round table hold, you'll no longer be there. Maybe there'll be an item there or something. I guess I'll have to go see. Yeah, I don't know. Everything about that NPC is just like, it makes me feel dirty. I don't It's just a disturbing fucking guy. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Slugs. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. So I fell down. So I can just open this. See there's stuff on this side too. I wonder. Might have been. I don't know. Oh, it's the same in this side. This is where I fell down, okay. Oh, fuck. So I can fall down there as well again. Fuck. Maybe if I fall down there I come out here. got the same thing. fight one of them at a time, like two of them is too heavy. So he's stuck behind this door. I feel like that would be a good way to fight him. <laughs> I found your weakness, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. 
I am doing a crit. Holy shit. Man, they're so strong. Like, what the fuck? She's not dead. I guess dead. These elements are like really strong. They're obviously like a different type. Okay. Running low on potions. Running low on mana as well. But actually, I do have. I do have a mana potion. Start carrying one mana potion just to, to have. Somber Smithing Stone 8. Still need, like, I need a dragon one. Because I've managed to level, I think, two weapons. Oh, this is just where the fucking ladder goes down. So I've backtracked now, basically. Oh, well, I mean, if that's the case, then I might as well just use the... Oh, no, I haven't. I almost, I almost fucking turned around. <laughs> That was uh, like funny. So this must be a shortcut then. <laughs> and this omen is much weaker than the, those bigger ones. Smithing stone seven. Okay, there we go. So this must be across from the 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 thing. Oh. What? No, I'm completely wrong. Okay, I really thought I knew where where I was, but no, I guess not. Just making sure there's like no ladders or anything here. So see there's a big gate there. I thought there might be a lever. Oh there's a lever. Maybe this is a shortcut. Uh, okay, I see. This is the drain we fall down, so the the waypoint's over there. And then I can still go this way too. Let me get the waypoint. At least if I die, I'll be like right by the waypoint. Guys, like, wait, he waited his turn. The gentleman's duel. So I thought it was this ladder that I came up. I need to remember that I can still go down this ladder too. This place is like just extremely maze-like. Okay, let's see. Well, it was literally a maze. It's not even just maze-like. Okay. So how much is that? About eleven thousand. Then we'll be okay. It's a bit overkill. Maybe one less would have been fine. Um, I don't know if I need more mind because I feel like I can use my ability quite often now. So I'm trying to think, what is better that? I, what can I use? Maybe something that ups my damage more. Maybe I should just level my faith more, or maybe I should level my vigor more to have more HP. Yeah, let's do that, take it up to 50 maybe. So I am starting to like feel like I'm taking a lot of damage from the enemies. Okay, 
things. I guess I'll just run past all these dudes. Oh no, I broke a thing. He heard me. So I need to go this way. So where the fuck does this go? Oh shit, this is some sort of tower. Now I need to remember there's other places I haven't gone to in the sewer area as well, like all the those tunnels with the slugs. <laughs> Bye. Oh, it's just, just a dead end. Yeah, I can't get down there. Doesn't look like I can jump across there, so I guess this... This is just the dead end of here. I can hear stuff like somewhere. I see this other. There might be other pathways. But it's not here. Oh, wait, I can jump down here maybe. I can I actually jump down here? Yeah, I can. Thanks, Beetle. You've shown me the way. Your reward is death. Let's drink some coffee. saying mud men, but I think they're clay, clay men. Oh, there's stuff down there. Don't like fire. Oh, shit, there's a way this way as well. Oh, maybe I could have gotten here through this way. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, let me look. Oh, it's a basilisk. Our friend, the basilisk. These are stronger bas basilisks than the previous ones I fought. I do seem to have quite a decent de death resistance though, because it, like my bar is not going up too fast, so I don't have, I don't think I have a problem with these. Why the fuck are you down here, bro? Does not open from this side. Oh, I thought it would open from this side, specifically because of the... I say that the illusion. No. It's another one of the tough omens. Need to be careful to see if there's no uh, hands. I wonder if I can sneak, sneak, sneak up on him. Backstab him. I don't think you can backstab these. Let's try. No, you can. Okay, so it's much easier when you backstab them and just smack the shit out of them. But once they start smacking the shit out of you, that's when it goes down. Omen. Baron, Byron, Baron. Okay, so this is a special one. Glass shard, golden centipede. Huh. I wonder 
if it's one of these things. I didn't look at what it was. It might be a key item. Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it's like a relic or something? Like one of those things, like these things? No? Okay, what the fuck is it then? No? What is this? Oh, uh, right. I bought that. Shit, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what I picked up. <laughs> it looked like a little doll, so I thought it would be a key item, or at least like a relic thing. Maybe it's a shield. was actually this one, I think. I see they've got different colored feathers. Interesting. Below the royal capital of Lindell is a vast network of sewers. The well in the city below reaches deep into its tunnels. Oh, cool. So it tells you about the well. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a crafting material. Fuck, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Oh, here it is. So it was, it was literally here in the first page. I just fucking completely missed it. Doll of a cursed born Byr Byron. Uses FP to unleash wraiths that chase down foes. Omen babies have all their horn excised. Causing most to perish. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. Please don't hate me or curse me, please. Okay. Okay, cool. So I guess. Yeah. So creepy. I guess I just cursed. Okay, so I can go up here. But now I've like lost all sense of direction and I'm not sure if I'm missing anything if I do go up here. There was a ladder where I could go down, there might have been more like... Oh wait, oh no, but that, that's a shortcut ladder. So there's a pipe you can jump in. So where's this? Oh, this is like a... Okay, so these are all the pipes. I could hear... I could fall down there. So there's a shortcut door. Uh, this might come out into the main hall again. Ah, uh, there we go. 
there's the... I guess I don't need that right now. But now at least I know if I die I can easily get back here. Okay, so I can jump down here. See there's gargoyles. That I cannot hit. Ah, fuck off. Serpent arrows. So I second jump down there. Just trying to see if there's anything. Well, not down there, I mean, I can just jump. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Is this the fucking ladder that just literally comes out here? by the bonfire, I think it is. Uh, it is. So I could have come this way the whole time. But I have missed some stuff that I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit on. But let me see where this goes first. Because I haven't gone down all the pathways and there was like a ladder about with the Miranda flower. So I can jump down there. Bye. I guess there's going to be two of them down there if I ever get down there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one's throwing things at me. It's a beach. Um, can I get up here? Yep. These things feel like they're my level. Like it's been a while since I felt that things can like fuck me up pretty badly like really quickly. So I think I've kind of caught up to where I'm supposed to be at my level. After like many hours. I can hear a beetle somewhere. It could be in the tunnels. In these pipes I mean. Or it could be down here somewhere. Let me see what's this way first before I fall down. So it's just another shortcut. Might be. Oh, there's an item. It's one of the big bad omens. Oh, uh, I see. This. I, th I think I know where this is. If I can open this door here. It's also to the main room where the bonfire is. Side of Grace. Yeah, okay, so this is where you start in the sewers. So he's back turned to me, I can't fucking see his head. No, it's not. So I guess this is the thing that the omen baby fetish thing does. Charm or whatever you call it. Smack. Smack. Mega smack. Bah. Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. I got smacked. Uh, at least the bonfire is just there, so it's not a big it's not a big loss. Support objective hunter. So 
This one was an X, it wasn't this one. Shit. Ah, uh, I thought I could break his poise. Let me not get dicked by this guy. I should actually go through my charms and see if I have any type of one of them that... Talismans, I mean, that uh, makes it easier to break poise. Because I feel like with this Wyander it would work pretty well. Shadow bait. Herman Cleaver, cool. Don't think I've had an Omen Cleaver. I thought it would be a uh... Oh, it's much smaller looking. Heavy bladed curved sword of colossal size awarded to Omen as a tool of war. This weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched upon the blade is the remnant of a deteriorative malediction. Indeed, when bestowing a weapon, preparations must be made for taking it away. Okay. Seems good. Um. And then there was some sort of spell that I picked up. Maybe it's an incantation? It looks like a weird sword thing. It's not this. Oh, Tibius summons is a... I don't, don't think I ever saw this. Summons a group of those lost in death, three skeletons, okay? The dead have long been left to wonder what they need as leadership. Okay. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know where this thing is. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. So it's not one of these, yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, so this is just literally like a shortcut type thing. But it's not even a shortcut, so it's just a roundabout way of getting to where you want to go. Because I could have gone down the ladder, or I could have just gone down. I suppose it is a little bit faster, you can skip some of the imps. So you just jump down here. Okay, let's, let's do just that. Me. Um, can I really jump down here? Yes. Oh, it's a lobster. Out of, I haven't fought these lobsters since like Leonia, and in Leonia they were like very strong. <laughs> uh, no, there's more than one lobster. Jesus! Got dicked by a lobster. Oh, there were two lobsters, to be fair. I think the problem, they don't get interrupted, so that like, throws me off completely because I'm so used to fighting in a way where enemies get interrupted. Um, 
so what's the best way to do this? I guess I can run and pass this omen. Oh, calm down. And then I can jump down here. Jump down here. Well, it takes quite a lot of damage. I do have like cotton balls or whatever. So where did the second lobster come from? Maybe it's just in the ground. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Free souls. Oh, there's the second lobster there. Jesus. Pew pew lasers. They're very awkward to fight. I see. Uh, oh, he damages the other one. Cool. So maybe I can get them to just kill, kill themselves. Probably not. I don't even have to rub them at all. Ah, uh, fuck off. Second one laser beam. Oh nice, thanks. That's great. Smack your friend in the ass. Big claw. Fucking hell. Um, I feel like I need to heal again. God. Lobsters. Very awkward to fight with those Wyander. And it's like, I don't interrupt him, so he, his attacks just smack me while I'm trying to smack him once. He smacked me like five times. No, then he would have killed me. But it, he does so much damage, so it's like crazy. Look, I'm out of potions already. That's like, that's ridiculous. I'm going to have to just run past these lobsters. They're too, like, strong. And awkward to fight for me. Hopefully there's no more of them. So I am getting smithing stone sevens now. I feel like I need to teleport back to the waypoint and then just run past. Let's just see where I need to actually go. Oh, here's the fucking thing. I've been hearing you <laughs> the whole time. Sombra smithing stone seven. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's get a few of these. Mog's Shackle. Okay, so here's a small door here, so I guess I need to go there. Seems to be the only way place I can go. So where's the... Underground roadside. How do I... Can I not teleport to this waypoint? Like, I don't see it on my map. Avenue Balcony. Because, like, I thought it would be, like, somewhere over here. Is it 
this underground roadside. But I'm scared of teleporting there and then it's not that. Okay, well, let's keep going and see what's down this way. Oh, uh, this. Uh, thank fuck. I was gonna say, like. I need one of these. <laughs> so let's see where this is. Okay, so now I've got. Lendel Catacombs. Cool. Okay. So see it goes down here and then there's also an elevator. Where does the elevator go? Expected to go up. I could hear more bells. It's one of these like ghosts. So these feel like weak again. Oh, they just respawn. Talisman. I think it just says the same, you know, it's just the same as every other dragon talisman. This is a weird, like, catacomb, because it's like it goes in reverse, almost. This is a big door opening. It does sound like a big door opened. Maybe it's just an elevator? Oh, this opened. Oh, I see. This is... Okay, I see. I know where this is. Okay, that's where I kind of ran down and fought the lobsters. So this is just a shortcut. I guess you can... Well, I don't know if it's a shortcut. Because there's one already down here. I guess it's just an exit. So let me just teleport here then. Um, it's down here, right? Oh, yeah, I see. Here's the actual... Oh, wait, no, but this... This looks like a... Oh, no, it's not. I was gonna say, I should be able to just open this, because usually there's, like, these two statues next to it, but... Not here. What's that about? Oh, uh, it says, uh... Worm dudes that like vomit worms onto you. these guys. Ah, uh, see, so it poisons you. See if there was anything significant about this altar thing. Guess not. Okay, let's see. They're like worshipping the wall. <laughs> There's some fire. Oh, I see. Ah, shit. <laughs> Almost fucked that up.
goes above board. I find it interesting that they've added those like weird summon things to the game. When like the mid well actually maybe I'm like I don't know how many people use the sort of summoning things. Cause to me it's like the stuff the the way the game is has like Dark Souls have been created. Or whatever, like the similar like, let's just say it's Dark Souls, okay. It feels like when you have anything that can distract the enemy, like a summon or an extra ally or something, it makes the game much easier. So it's like, like I feel, I mean you should play the game the way you want, but it's like, it's already like there's already pe the, the player summons that you can get, and then at the on, uh, fuck I can't see anything. And then on top of that, they've added these things to make it even easier for any sort of people that. So it's almost like an easy mode, right? Which I think, that on one hand, it's cool because it gives more people access to the game. But then on the other hand, it's also a strange design when this is like the fourth sort of Dark Souls game they've made. And they know how people are, like, the, the fan base are very, like, anti-summons type of thing. The, the core sort of fan base, I mean. But I guess the game became very, very popular because... I don't know why it became so popular. I mean, it's just a good game, but I mean, all the other Souls games are also good games. So it's, like, strange how this one is the one that has become, like, sort of more mainstream. Maybe it is literally because of the summoning thing. Maybe it's just the open world aspect of it. Because the open world definitely makes it easier too, because you can literally just go and level somewhere else when... And it doesn't feel like you're grinding, really. Which is, I think, very good design. Okay, wait, so I could have gone the other way too. But now I'm like, I'm not sure. There's too many paths here that I've l probably lost track of. All the pathways I can go to. Okay, so this is... Oh no, this is different. There wasn't a flower in the one. I thought I was above... Oh, so this is like another one of those weird dungeons where it's like... Multiple dungeons? That looked like very similar. So I can't actually fall down here. I see this doesn't have an item. But then if I fall down here, I might miss something on the other side. So let me go the other way first and see... What's on the other side? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Right. That's why I didn't go this way. Is this an elevator? Yes it is. Just want to see if there's any um, illusions. Yeah. Um. Okay, so there's just, I guess, an, uh, an item. Just want to see if there's... Crucible scale talisman. Okay. Reduces damage taken from critical hits. 
talisman fashioned from a scale that embodies the aspects of various creatures said to have grown on the human body long ago okay so it's similar to these other ones yeah it is the vestige crucible yeah they're all the same okay um i feel like that's more of like a pvp item Because the enemies don't really crit you most of the time, unless grabs count as crits. Okay, so I guess I have to jump down here then, and it is an alternative path because, like I said, the other one did not have a flower here. Go up the stairs to and then I also need to try to see what the other what is on the other side. Oh. Wow, they're really trying to fuck with me now because now Really? Maybe I'm completely wrong, maybe I have to go the other way. Maybe there was a wall in the way or something I could see before. Oh, this door is open. No. Weird. So there's a bus. Really? Maybe I do need to go further up. So the rooms definitely mirrored. There's like at least two rooms, might be three rooms, I guess we'll see. But there was another dungeon that's similar where there's like three different copies of the same dungeon you teleport around. Yeah, see, so this is just a dead end. I thought there might be a ladder here, root reason. I can hear stuff on the other side of this. But it doesn't look like I can actually get through there. Okay, so then I do need to probably backtrack. Weird. It's like a very mindfuck type dungeon. Oh, maybe it was. No. Okay, well, I'm forced to go this way now. Maybe he's looking at the an illusion. So go up there. 
and then I can go up there. Actually, I think I need to go up here first because at the on by the other one, this was a dead end, right? So there might be a lever or something. Oh, uh, this goes this way, which is different. This is like the most mindfuck like catacomb. It's similar to when I got this armor from the other hero's grave or whatever. That was also like a very mindfuck one. Yeah, because look, because now I'm down much further, and I'm like falling. Oh, here's the lever. So I finally found the lever. Somewhere a heavy door open. Sounds like it's like right here. So this is what must be where I started. if I'm missing anything you know. I thought it was a... Uh... Oh, it goes further down. Oh, there it is. Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Okay, so that sounds like a PvP thing also. Well, maybe not. I guess if you use like a katana or anything just to kill bosses faster or something. Talisman depicting the exaltation of the Lord of Blood. Render up your offerings of blood to your Lord. Drench my consort's chamber. Slake his cocoon's thirst. His awakening shall herald the dawn of our dynasty. So it's like a Mikula thing. Because as far as I could tell, he has Mik Mikula's... Like a cocoon thing with the arm dangling out. So I'm assuming that's going to be the DLC. I think everyone has assumed that that's going to be the DLC sort of entrance place. I guess we'll see. Maybe they throw everybody like a curveball and go like, nah, ha, ha, you thought it would be that. It's the same as how everyone thought Mesmer was Mikula, but uh, he isn't. 
He's just another dude. Drink some coffee. Okay, so now I do need to backtrack. So let me actually use see if this does go to where I thought it might go. Because if it doesn't, I can just teleport back to that catacombs. Yes, it does. Subterranean. Okay, cool. So let me think. Where's all the places I needed to go? Was it down there? I need to go back to the, I think, fall down the sewer thing over here. Or run through that door over there. And then go through here, I think. Yeah, I needed to do this. This was something, because there was a, a ladder that went down here by like a Miranda flower. Can't go further down. Huh? Let's run past these motherfuckers. Excuse me. There we go. It's like here, right? So I went that way before. So I need to go this way. Get into a place where oh well, I'm actually stunned uh, buses. That's cool. Okay, cool. Stand by what I said, I would rather fight 20 basilisks than one rune bear. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, he jumped down. Have a good time. Did he not die? He did die. That was a long drop, jeez. Nomad's ashes. Alright. I'll bite. A member of a tribe that was entombed in the earth so as to bury the maddening disease that followed them. Able to emit the terrible flame of frenzy from his eyes, but has low HP and is frail, unable, uh, yeah, unable to take much in the way of punishment. Okay, cool. Oh, is this a dead end? Can I, can I not fall down there? I don't know, I thought this would go further down. There's a thing there. No, this looks like death if I fall down there. Okay, and what about the other way? Same, this looks like death, right? But there's a door over there. It looks like a it looks like an elevator. So how the fuck do I get there? Hmm. Well, it's not from here. I need to backtrack. And then also there's, there was a place, I think it was actually down this way, where there was like a ladder that I couldn't, that I couldn't reach yet. Oh, uh, look, look at his eyes, it's actually glowing, it's his proper eyes. So 
so that's like you can see where his real eyes are. So I've noticed these ones give more. Uh, it's like they steal your runes, and then they give you like a, your runes back when you when you kill them. And there's also still this door here that I haven't does not open from the side. Still confused why this one like is facing the other way. Yeah, so here's there was a ladder. Was it here? Up here, there's a pipe there that you can fall down into, and there's a ladder. But I don't know. This is a letter. There's this letter. Oh, no. I don't think I can jump from here. See, there's that letter, so I need to figure out, and there's an imp there. I need to figure out how to get there. There's a. Uh, Up here. But this is where I fought all those imps, right? So it's not here. Maybe I need to fall down there on that pipe. Oh, wait. No, this is different. Yeah, this is different. I'm higher up. So I haven't gone this way. I can fall down this pipe here. Where the fuck did you come from? It's like biding his time. Okay, so I can fall down here as well. I see this ledge there. Um, there's also stuff on this side. It's the same ledge. Check what's down here before I go that way. In case there's anything. See, there's an imp. Two imps. Okay, I, I need to not lock, lock onto this. That's how death happens. Another one of those beetle, like crystal beetles somewhere. It's like above me somewhere. Maybe it's in the pipe, like up here. I'll try to get into the pipe. Oh wait, maybe I'll need to, f I'm gonna probably fall down into the other pipe. Oh. Did you? That was a bit premature. Just backtracking. Yeah, here we go. There's the ladder. Kick down, and I can I can fall into this pipe. So I can go. I can backtrack as well. There's a rat there. And there's a door there. Let's go this way first, just to see. Where did the rat go? Now actually I don't know if I'm just back in those other like pipes because all these fucking pipes look exactly the same. Oh ah, Christ, fall down. Let me just backtrack, go back through the door over there and see. So 
this gate's just completely oh, there we go, this uh Fuck. Fuck. This is a mana one though, I think. Oh my god, just fucking die. There's a mana one and an HP one. Okay. Let me not chase it. Um, let's see if I missed anything here. No. Cause I came, I came through here. Okay, and then the people went that way. Yes, it gives three potions. Just, this just falls out. I guess I've been there before. I guess I shouldn't go that way. Let's go this way then, I guess. Did it? Really? Maybe I should go where the beetle is going then. This way, I think. Fuck. And you just watch out for any like holes you can fall through. There's a piece of way. I do have to fall down. Fall down then. Okay, dead end. I've done a really good job of like making this place as confusing as possible. There's another item down there. Not sure if I can, came from there. Eye of Yellow. So it's like the madness type sort of thing. This way. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see if I can find the place where I could fall down. So I think this is the gate that I came through. Yeah, because I jumped. Oh, uh, so this was the way I went. I didn't go this way. This was the way the rat went. And he went this way. So let me see what's this way first. I need to jump over this. Big rats. Fall down here, I see this item. This might have been where I killed the other rat. Yeah, here. Okay, so let me fall down here then. Ah, fuck off. Don't really get these guys. I guess they're just servants to, like, the Lord of Blood or whatever. Or the Madness dude. 
Oh, so this is the door I couldn't open. But I don't, honestly don't, it's like I'm struggling to remember where the fuck that was. It's a ladder. Well, that's progress, I guess. That's a pot. But I can't target the big pot, it's Can't target these small pots either. Oh, there we go. Fuck. This is the elevator I could see from the other side over there. Cool. Oh, at least I found that now. Oh, Jesus. This goes down very far. What? Oh, nice. It's me. Another one. Okay. Just want to see if I can fall down here. At all. Might be able to. Guess I could just try. Now that I've got this grace. Forsaken depths. Okay. So it's called the Forsaken Depths. Let me see if I can fall down here. Wee. Nope. You die. <laughs> That's fine. I should be able to just get the my rent so I can break yeah. So there's another hidden dungeon here. This looks like the boss fight at the end of the hero type ones. Also it just looks like a boss fight in general. It's a church. Mog the Omen. So it's like one of the blood dudes. There's a difference between an omen and a fell omen. Set the world ablaze. It's quite a strong boss, actually. Cool music. I actually had a physic thing that... Oh shit, that's not ideal. A wondrous physic thing that prevents some sort of curse, but I'm not sure if it's for this guy.
yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. So that guy. Fuck, man. Oh, I thought I was doing pretty good, but then uh, I think I started playing too passively. I should have just kept like punishing him. Okay, it's fine. Let me check the physic thing just to see. It was like some sort of thing I got. Crystal tear formed slowly, okay, can be mixed into the flask. Yeah, see, it's the Mog, Lord of Blood's terrifying right of blood. The resulting concoction purifies the curse from Mog, Lord of Blood. It's a terrifying right. Which is this one, right? So, maybe I should try use it and see what if it does anything. So I'm using the half HP heal and because uh, I got this from uh, doing the samurai dude's uh, quest line. Flask of Wonders Physic. Let's see what it does. Because maybe that just purifies that that curse build up of his the blood curse thing. So I need to try to use it at some point. I'm just gonna leave the souls unless I run across it. It's got a lot of range. your shield, so... Oh, fuck, I used the wrong thing. So maybe it just prevents his blood build up, so you can literally just fight him without having to worry. No, it doesn't. It still damages me. Fuck. Don't know why I jumped there. <laughs> why am I struggling with this guy? I feel like he's not a hard boss, like, but I'm like really struggling with him for some reason. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what the shield does, like, it, maybe it does prevent some of the damage or something. Like I find his attacks very awkward because he uses mostly range attacks and then but then when you get close to him he like really smacks the shit out of you with his long reach. So it's like I think it's gonna take me a little while to get used to fighting this enemy. Yeah, that delay is so delayed. <laughs> Funny how he uses fire magic as well. Fuck man. I rolled like right into it. Uh, I guess I can use this now. 
So I think if I roll... Uh, shit, I rolled into that. Shit, I'm running into that too. Fuck, and I'm running into that. <laughs> That's making all the mistakes. Uh, I thought I clicked it just like... Not clicked, whatever. Rolled just in time, but I was like a second too early. Too late. does give you a little bit of his blood, um, like blood resistance or whatever. Blood thin talons. Okay. 100,000 souls. Interesting. Uh, let me see. If, I guess that's an incantation. He looked like he was some type of priest. The blood oath incantation granted by the Lord of Blood. Creates blood flame lacerations. Okay, I understand. I know what it does. After dealing damage, blood flame continues to build up onset of blood loss for a very short time. Uh, so maybe the shield prevented that, like the, that build up. This a chest thing. Let me open the chest first. Earth tree's favor plus one. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. Whoa. That's much better than this. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it is better, technically, but... So what would I take off? Great erases, tributes, but also... Maybe this one, I wanna see. No, it's like much less. So I guess the faith one, right? Cuts my damage by 14, but I get like... How much is that? Like 60? 60 more HP and 10, 11 more stamina and more equip load. Yeah, I think it's better than the faith one. Cool. I'd break the little shield. Need to mix it back to the one I was using. That's something to make your stance. That's the one I like. Looking bubble tier. Okay, I just level up my. That's so weird because now it's like quiet in this room. No music. I didn't do the quest for this, uh... uh sealed by Margot... Morgot, sorry. The Grace Given. Morgot. Uh, that's... That's a dude I think you fight before the Erd... Erd tree. Okay, so I have to... I have to beat him first then. Let me, uh... Let me mark a thing here so I remember to come here. But honestly, I don't know if you can do this if you haven't, uh... If you haven't done that woman's quest line. Okay, cool. So now I've, I think I've been most of these places down here. So I want to go back to Roundel Table thing first. Actually, I need to also go to Volcano Manor because, like, I beat it, killed another one of their, like, dudes that they want to assassinate. Did I get a... 
No, I didn't get a remembrance thing. But let's see, I haven't spoken to this one in a long time. <sighs> no. Okay. I just wanted to see if there's an item like that maybe drops here. No. Okay. I'll talk to that spirit woman as well because uh, she was the one that tells you about him initially, so I'm wondering. <sighs> I guess he doesn't really say anything anymore. He's just like, you're my rival. Greetings, are you here for I guess she doesn't say anything anymore. Yeah. Actually, let me see if I can upgrade my well, weapon at all. Well, I'll take you now, Matt. Lay out your own. No, I can't. I need smithing stone 8. Okay. Okay, well then... Oh, right. I oh, Volcano Manor. Where's Volcano Manor? Okay. So like uh, just overwhelming the amount of stuff you can do in this game and it's like so easy to just kind of get sidetracked I don't know if that other girl is literally just now sleeping or no Ah, I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours. Gelmir's Fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. <laughs> You're still alive. Well. Okay, so what did he. That's not what I wanted to do. One of the sorceries, okay, this sorcery is held to represent the fury of the volcano, but the arrogance of attempting to harness it is solely that of men and serpents. Okay, cool. And then I still need to kill a dude for this woman, but it's like all the way up here where I haven't been yet. Okay, so now... from here. Fortified manor first floor. Maybe it's this. Let's see if it's this. I still haven't jumped onto the dragon's like spear. Yeah, it's here. Like either, which I feel like you should be able to do maybe from up there, like jump down and jump up there. But how do I get there? Oh, I see. I have to go up that tree branch thing and then around there. Okay. I'm not sure if I've missed any other things in this capital. It's so like maze-like and just and just difficult to kind of find your way that it's I don't know if I yeah. I, I can also go up that over there. Let me see what's up there first. I think there was a gladiator up here last time. Yeah, there. Okay, so this might be an alternative path up the tree. See, there's some guardians up there. Can I jump down here? Oh, I see there is an... It is kind of an alternative path. But I'm not sure if you jump down from here or... Could 
I guess I could jump down a little bit earlier before I take this damage. But let me check what's up here first. It looks like it's just a glad, like an arena, like a PvP thing. strong gladiator. Every other gladiator fought has not been as strong. Wait, can I use my horse here? No, I can't. So I can go up here. stuck on the rocks of it, you know. Oh, it looks like it kind of backtracks up on itself. Okay, so what are these guys? They're just kind of chilling here. Yeah, so this is another PvP thing. Oh no, it's not. Wouldn't it be funny if this is where the DLC takes place? Like, everyone's like, oh, going on about... But this is actually like Mikolas sort of fired out or something. Uh, you know what? I, I kept, tr I tried to get on my horse. That's why I was like, and then I used the lantern. There's not a gladiator there. Raises defense when HP is at maximum. Okay, talen talisman patterned after shields used in ritual combat held to honor the earth tree. Okay. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radagon, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. I think, yes, look, I saw that, because this is the same. Raises attack power and HP and raises defense. I think these are quite strong. I, I'm not sure how much like stuff they give you. Uh, okay, this is just the PvP thing, I think. Yeah. Royal Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not into this type of thing. Okay, cool. I'm annoyed that I can't use my horse here because it's like such a big area. Okay, cool. So it's just like a dead end. to get down here. If I should literally just jump down, but that seems like a big drop though. So I might... Huh. Yeah, let me leave that for now. Maybe I have to go down the... Uh, maybe over here. No, but this, this is on the other side. Might actually just be able to just drop down there and 
maybe I should just use the cotton stuff. But the problem is then I don't know where you are. Let me just go this way. So this is like the most obvious way to go. I have been down there, I think. But I have not been up here. an item over there. But uh, I guess I need to fall down to get it. This loops around. This might actually be the way to get down there where I was just saying. Yeah, this one's flower. It's growing. Is there anything up here? Can't see, but there's a branch that's bending. No, I don't. It seems very sketchy. Let me get down here now. Big tree. reach me there. I thought he was going to jump down, that's why I was like waiting for him. So I see this, it's actually blooming the Miranda flowers, so does that mean the Miranda flowers are from the earth tree? So that's, that would make sense why they're so like, like all over the place, because look, you're even here, right? Stone six. <laughs> it's definitely not worth the trouble. Because uh, this was such a like long trick around. You could see that item from many like hours ago. So it's like, yeah, it does not seem worth. This looks like a dead end. So I guess I have to go up this one here. like was thinking the same thing like come on bro you can do it <laughs> finally we have reached the tree I just want to see if I can go up higher here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's a nice entrance there. Godfrey, first element armed. Thorkel, I think his name is. From Finland. 
Entsorger. Sagt der Uncle, Uncle of Forfman. Oh shit. Thumping is like a cool music. Uh, nice. Oh, that guy. Nice. Oh, uh, cool. A talisman pouch. Nice. Very cool. Then I could put back my faith, uh, faith one. I think that's a cool fight, but uh, that's obviously like not the strongest boss in the world. Finally. Let me actually see what gives me more damage. Yeah, you know, Faith does. I wonder if there's anything else I can use that's better. Raises maximum FP, more stuff, maybe this one, right? But then I'll take more damage though, which is not ideal. But I'll increase my my FP by 20, which I think is very good. It does increase my faith by 3, it seems. So I do 8 more damage. With this one I do 14 more damage. I don't lose any... Yeah, let's just go with this one for now. Okay, so... I can go that way, but I can also go this way. That's the way I think is the way how I jump onto that spear. So I do want to go this way. Yeah, it's very dark in here. Oh, let's not drop down there, into the mists, that's actually water, it looks like water. What? Why? Oh, there's a ladder up there, I see, okay. Cool. Hey, Dornstrom Tarnished. Oh, hey man. Sorry, I missed your message. I don't know when you messaged me. Shit. <laughs> like, I, I... Yeah, I wasn't looking at my phone because I didn't see... Yeah. There was there hasn't been, like, any messages for a long time. So you're the first one. Sorry if I missed it. For a very long time. <laughs> Down there. Oh, there's an elevator here. Wait, is this? Let me just make sure I'm not missing any thing here. Huh. No, it doesn't look like it. It literally looks like it can. Okay, well, let me go down here. So this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to get onto the spear to get that legendary thing. Regression alone reveals secrets. Huh. I did do this in my first playthrough. I remember it's like you have to do the gold mask dudes questline. I haven't been doing it. And then this statue turns into Marika. And then it's like, 
Radagon is Mar Marika. And so it's like, I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's the same, like, if it's just like an avatar of Marika or something. Or if it is just literally like a coin, like the one side is male and the one side is female and can kind of activate whichever one it wants. Or one of them stands for like a different thing, I don't know. It's just like, it was very confusing. It's like a yin yang, oh, fuck. Is this thing gonna come back? I see this, uh, Crucible Knight. One of the spear ones. Which in my mind should be easier. But they also have reach for days. And they're very difficult to... Get away from. Like, look at that. He's literally crossing... His distance is so crazy. They're easy enough to kill though, now that I'm a higher level. But on low levels they like so punishing. Of course I can jump down there. Let me just see what's up here first before I before I jump down. <laughs> no <laughs> you fucking thing. Barrier of gold. I didn't see if it was an Ash of War or if it was a spell. No, it's an incantation. Greatly increases magic damage negation for the caster and nearby allies. Hold. Okay, cool. This incantation was used by the champions of the Earth Tree in the First and Second Lyurnian Wars, during which the red haired Radagon joined the Earth's ranks. Okay. So there were two Lyurnian Wars. And I mean... Rhea Lucaria still stands, so I guess... Yeah, I guess Radagon was just like, s stomped. <laughs> okay, wait, so I can jump down here, but I want to see if jumping down there is going to get me to the same place. No. No, uh, if I jump down there, I see, then I end up where, kind of where I was already anyway. So I think I do need to actually just jump down here. Oh, fuck. Okay, looked much higher than where it was. So you see this, like, item here very early on. Uh, fuck it. That's annoying that that guy exists. Vault of Grand Sex. <laughs> it's like Epic Sex Guy. I am Grand Sex, the Epic Sex, sex Guy. So what's that? That's that's like a weapon. I guess it's a spear. It is a spear. Whoa, it's super dexterity. Spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Gransax, one of the legendary armaments. The great ancient dragon, Gransax, once rained calamity upon the royal capital. The only time in historical rec record that Landell's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. And then it has ancient lightning spear. Imbue the armament with the ancient dragon's red lightning, then throw it as a spear. I find it so strange that lightning damage in this game is dexterity like based. Because like in the other Dark Souls games, they, they're all like faith-based sort of stuff, and even in this, they're incantations, right? 
So it's very bizarre to me. It's just bizarre. I don't know. It's like weird. It's a weird decision. Like, why go? Why make it a dexterity based thing? Like, what? Is it because of like lightning reflexes or something? It just feels like weird. Maybe they just wanted to break away from the whole like Lord Gwyn type type of thing, and they were like, no, they can't just they can't just copy paste it from Dark Souls. They have to. Um, Oh, look at all the dead finger readers. Good riddance, they're fucking creepy. Holy grease. It's a chalice. Look at my big chalice. So I see I can go up here, and then I can also, oh, maybe that's the only way I can go? Yeah, no, that's the only way I can go. Okay, well, let me go up here. So I really like this, like, level design, this type of... Just using, like, the roots and stuff as uh, pathways. Wait, is there like a gap there? Okay. So that goes to some sort of temple. Let's see, I can jump down here. There's a gap in there. This way? There's a roof I can jump on over here, but it doesn't look like it has anything on it. Yeah, so it's got golden leaves. Oh. So I can go through there, and let me just see if there's a ladder or anything. No. It gives like gold leaf in your name. Oh nice, a chest. Her tree bird. It's interesting that this was kept in a chest up here and not the ginormous spear of the dragon. Longbow featuring Urtree styling in times of old when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. It's a faith bow. That's very cool. I like that. <laughs> but I probably won't use it because... I don't know, it's, that's like... I just prefer the Swinder. <laughs> Moss and lichen. Oh, I see. This, okay. I can actually pick this up. Golden Order Principia. So what is this? Just fucking random mummified dude dangling from a chain. Very strange. Prayer book of the Golden Order Fundamentals. It's a dense and complex academic treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles. Okay, okay, so it's Radagon's Ring of Light, Rings of Light, sorry, and Law of Regression. Uh, maybe Law of Regression is the thing I need. Huh. Yeah.
Oh, is this where the chest was? So the ladder must be over here somewhere, yeah. Celestial deer. I don't think I've committed any crimes. Unless, like, killing that pox dude is a crime. Dung eater, or whatever his name is. But I mean, that guy seemed to be a cancer, so... I cut him out. Assassin, Knight Assassins. Uh, this must have killed all the, the old women, right? Sorry. I'm just stronger than you. <laughs> Did I not get any souls from that? So maybe I didn't kill him, maybe it was just an illusion? This is a fancy uh, chair. Guess Marika is meant to like just kind of sit here. Blessing of the Erd Tree. Or maybe Radagon is meant to sit here. So this is a faith healing thing. Grants a bearer blessing to the caster and nearby allies. Okay, okay, wait. One of the ancient earth tree incantations. The earth tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment, such as the course of all life. Okay. So I got. Oh, so this is different. This is earth tree worship. This is the actual earth tree's incantations. So it just gradually restores large amounts of HP, so it's like a regeneration spell. I mean, that could be... grants a greater blessing to the coster. That could be very good, right? 38 faith. Maybe I should try that. Because I do have a blessing... Which one was it? It's one of these ones. This one. So I could use this one. And then just take it off when I want to cast uh, a blessing, so whatever. Let me just get rid of all these other ones. The damage ones are garbage. Like, they really are. Blessings of the Earth Tree. This one, right? Let's get that one. Protection of the Earth Tree increases affinity damage. Increases attack and defense. Alleviates death, whatever. Guess I can use that one too. And then, like, if I really want to, I can just quickly swap and then heal or whatever, and then swap back to fighting like normal. How much, like, does it take? takes a lot. It takes like a large chunk of mana. But uh, I think it could be pretty good, so I guess we'll see. Now these are like stone tablets. Uh, stone tablets. <laughs> Can I jump up these actually? Maybe there's some item up here. No item that I can see. Okay, is there anything behind the chair? Nope. Oh, this blessing lasts very long, actually. That could be like really cool, and I don't have to worry about healing. Depending on how long it, like how much it heals. Yeah, it fills my whole screen. As it should.
Oh, it's a cinematic. Drink some juice. Graceless tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. King Morgoth, last of all kings. Okay. He's a little bit more fancy than Margaret. Uh, let's see if I can use this, actually. Oh, that's a... Let's see how much it heals. Heals decent, actually. <laughs> Fucking charge of nerds. Okay, so the fight's completely different, actually. Oh, 
shit. That's such a like chaotic fight. Oh god. Morgoth's great ruin. Remembrance of the Omen King. Okay. Oh. Oh, the door's not going down. Oh, I can talk to him. Okay. Oh, he looks like so much. Uh, so he's lost his curse now, I guess. Looks like much more feeble or whatever. Tarnished. Not but a fool. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are. We are all. None may claim the title of Elder and Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <sighs> okay. Well, let me read his uh, remembrance thing. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Earth Tree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless love it he did. Okay. All right, I still need to restore the rune. Seek the Divine Tower of East at Altus, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Lindell's Eastern Ward. It's this one. Oh no, it's, it's this way probably. I don't think I've actually gone that way. I don't, this area here, I don't think I've gone this way. Okay, well, let me see. The gates are shut. So I see it's sealed by Radagon's seal. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the earth tree. Alright. Oh, cool. Now I can... Uh, I can use this. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Rolled Medallion. Okay. A red mark was made on the map. Thanks. <laughs> I wish to journey with you once more to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then 
and guide you down the path. Okay. Shall I turn your runes? Let my hand rest upon you. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Okay, so level up your ambition. HP more. The principles you would follow. After that, I don't really know what to level up anymore. I don't think anything matters, really. I feel like the only thing that matters is for me to upgrade my weapon. How much do I need? 20,000. Five thousand. Maybe just ten of these. This still takes my HP up by like twenty three. I feel like fifty is enough. Let me, let me just level up my faith to. 50 as well. Okay, so where's this red mark? Oh, there. That was easy enough. Actually, I want to read the, the thing she gave me, the key. I guess that's not one of these other ones. Conjoined split medallion depicted the flame peak. Brandishing the medallion activates the grand of, of a rolled, connecting the lane dull to the mountain tops of the giants. The forge of the flame of ruin is said to be found upon their peaks, and it is here Melano wishes to travel in resuming your journey together. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to. Uh, This place, just see what weapons I can get from that uh, guy's weapon. Ugh, whatever you call it, remembrance. Uh, okay, this guy say anything else now? Mm. I can. Where should I go? <laughs> if you're heading to the Forge of the Flame of Ruin. In the snowy mountain tops of the giants, you'll need to find the grand lift of Rold beyond the forbidden region. Or go if you would. Take no heed of cardinal sin. The two fingers lost their purpose a long, long time ago. If you're he'll need to forgo if you the two finger. This guy is so like I don't know, he just has a bad attitude. Everything about him is just, he just sounds like an asshole. I don't know, this is not what I want. I wanted the, the big room, right? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. This way. Oh, look. They're like standing up straight. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The earth tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of runes must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. Receive power from memories, receive equipment. I want to burn the impenetrable thorns. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the Rune of Death too? The Rune of Death goes by two names. The other is Destined Death. 
The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Oh, unleashing the room now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. You must find only the spice for the flame can lead Okay. Receive power from remembrance. Let's see. Margot's cursed sword. Warp blade of shifting you used by Margot the Omen King. The accursed blood that Margot recounted and sealed away reformed into this blade. Cursed blood slice. Brace, then charge forward to deliver a downward diagonal slice. The bloody trail of the blade is followed by a burst of flame. Additional input, don't they? So it's an arcane and a dexterity weapon, and then he's got Regal Omen Byron. He uses FP to unleash many wraiths that chase down foes. Okay, so I know what that does, because the other omen does it. Dole of Cursed Born Byer from the Earth Tree's Royal Lion. Okay. Omen babies born on of royalty do not have their horns excised, but instead are kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone, imprisoned for eternity. These memorial fetishes are fashioned in secret. Okay. So then, okay, so then all the ones who don't have their horns cut off are like some sort of royal, like bloodline type ones. I guess. I don't know. Interesting. Now go forth. Let the words of the finger. She says that, but she literally just told me to tell her, like, the finger's gonna go fuck itself, just burn the tree. It's like, I'm sick of this shit, please, just end my life. It's like, I am too old now. Well, I took you for that matter, it's I just your want to die. <laughs> Guess I don't... Oh, I can actually power this up. That's weird. That's very weird. Oh, uh, see, it's a somber, um... It's a somber thing as well. Okay, so you can empower, so maybe that's why my spells are doing like fuck all damage. Because I didn't power this thing up. Might as well do it. Looks like I am gonna run out of. Uh... Oh, I was just getting with Faith S. I think that's the only S thing I have. Somber Smithing Stone 8. Maybe I won't use it up to that far. Because I only have a 1 8 1, and if I find a. If I find another one, I might. Uh... Is this woman still down here, I wonder? I never went down here to check on her again. She's literally still here. No. How could I say? Father has. No. She's just been like sulking here for like 50 hours. <laughs> Shame. Woe is me. 
Um, okay, so I need to go here. How do I get you? Cathedral of Forsaken. I mean, that looks like it's the closest, but... Why did I mark this with a gem? I don't remember. Let me see. No. Oh. Uh, that's underground. That's that's where... Oh, wait, but now this, this might be gone, right? Because I killed that guy. Yes, it is. Oh, there's actually an enemy. Wait, so are these all mad merchants? I can hear another one playing like some shit. Yellow Ember. Okay, so some of these are alive. Oh, okay. The violent smack does quite a lot of damage. Grace Mimic. So I can jump down there, so I can run up here. So that's where I fell down just now. Yes, it is. It's cool music, huh? Uh, maybe I can jump down like that. That. Huh. Really? Huh? Huh. I got an odd pick that up. Maybe. I can jump down here by these. This reminds me of Dark Souls 3. There's a part where you have to jump down to get to the. down some like tower. It's very similar. Oh, this is awkward. See, I can fall down a little bit further. Maybe I should use one of these cotton things. Barely ever use any of these items, so I might as well. It's better if I go another way. Ugh, it's fine. Let's just try, I guess. So I feel like... I feel like I need to jump down to the bottom one, actually. Or can I run across there? Maybe that would be easier. But then where do I go? Oh, fuck. Missed. Die. <laughs> 
guess the cotton doesn't work if you fall that far. Subterranean shunning grounds. It's just a very awkward one because it's like literally jump to that one. But this is like, I can't really run from here. So I feel like I'm going the wrong way if I do this. There's a candle over there. Maybe if I run backwards and then jump across like this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, that seems to work, okay. Fuck, that's like an awkward one as well. <laughs> Fuck. That's just like so awkward, this whole platforming thing. Might be able to use the cotton now to drop not all the way down, but if I do fall, maybe it will help me. Still a little bit high though. Let's see. There we go, fall, fuck. No, it's way too high. Yo. That's like a really awkward. Okay, let's try again. I don't actually know if like doing this is gonna get me anything because I didn't do the quest line for this woman, so it's like So I don't know. So I did do this quest line on my first like playthrough. But uh But then I did I didn't choose her ending, but I did lose Melina. Because it's the frenzied flame, like the third finger or whatever. You know. Shocker. <laughs> Maybe I can just jump down to that one, but then where the hell do I go after that? Because maybe that's why this fucker is here. It's literally to tell you here's the place where you should jump. Right? I don't think this cotton stuff's gonna help me much, but let's just try, I guess. Like maybe I can jump down either to where my ruin now, but that's too far. I think. Hmm. Can I just walk off here? Well, let's try it. It's like I can just come back if it fails, right? Oh, fuck, it actually worked. And I didn't take any damage. Wow. That's like so much better. Cool. Inescapable frenzy. Okay, none of these ones are alive. Well, let's read Inescapable Frenzy. I guess it's an incantation. Causes the yellow flame of frenzy to blaze from the caster's eyes. Caster then latches onto foe, spreading the madness. This incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster. 
To gaze into one another's eyes is truly the most intimate form of human contact. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oops. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, at least there's a bonfire down here. I can talk to Melina still. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a Lord, Deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called Lord, when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the Lord of friends, when the land... Okay, cool. Yeah, well, that's the frenzied flame ending, I think, if it's like the option. But I'm not gonna do that, because last time I did that, Melina fucks off, and then... I missed, I think, dialogue from her, so I'm gonna literally just leave this where it is, as she says. So now, how the fuck do I get here, though? Forsaken Depths, not there. Maybe it's just this, East Capital Rampart. Isn't that where you start, though? If I remember correctly, it might be where you start. No, yes. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. This, this is where M M Melina leaves you. But now I need to try to figure out how to get to... To get over there. I guess I'd have to come down here and then kind of just go around here. Or maybe... Cathedral of Forsaken. This is where you start, and you come kind of down here to here. Yeah, because this is the capital, so I want to just go that way. So I have to... Maybe it's literally... Maybe I literally have to go there from the... Where you go into the earth tree type thing. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll f I think I'll figure that out next time. I think I'm going to stop now because my ears are starting to get sore from the headphones. So I think I'm just going to call it here. Oh, I can talk to Melanie here. Interesting. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants far above the clouds i know i'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin but it must be done to reach the path beyond and that is the path i wish to travel what is your mind what is your mind i can't respond so and also, it seems to be the only way to make the game go further, so I guess that is what it is. <laughs> My choice has been made. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just log out here then. Cool. Shut. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will check you on the next one. 
And uh, yeah, I'll just keep going from there next time. So cool. Cheers.